Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week one of the PPAL. I believe it's season four, but it's the first time we've ever been in this league. And it's a Wi-Fi league, so we've got some actual Switch content for you rather than like uh, a showdown uh, league. So we are playing on the 10 minute timer. We've just got it to work after about half an hour of troubleshooting or so. So hopefully it stays and doesn't break. Um, my opponent this week uh, is, I'm sorry, for because I, I, I have lots of these people I don't know in this league, so um, I don't remember their names. Um, but I'm playing Puckbud and his team, the Hartford Whalers. So, quick rundown of my opponent's uh, draft is Goffertel, Barrascuda, Haxorus, Pelipper, Heliolisk, Seismitoad, Whimsicott, Cofagrigus, Ludicolo, and Ferrisie, so ranked team. And it is terrifying because I feel like my team doesn't have a great matchup. Some things do, some things don't. Um, my draft analysis has gone live already, so if you want to see my entire draft stuff in more detail, excellent. I am featuring some special guests in there, in Troy and Ethan. Um, but my draft, quickly for you guys, is Gyarados, Corridon, Duraludon, uh, Glarian, Weezing, Chandler, Umbreon, Eldegoss, or Beetle, Raichu, Ninjask. So, um, that's pretty much it. It's the first week, like, it's the first time I've played on Wi-Fi, so if I get 6 would I get 6 would whatever. Um... I'll leave links to my opponent in the description below. I don't think there's anything else I have to say, really, other than we're going straight into the game. Um, so, my opponent's team is Ferrisseed, Haxorus, um, the Heliolisk, the Gopherita. So, he didn't even bring Barrascuda or the um, Ludicolo, which is very interesting. Um... I actually, Crawdon has a really good time, like a really good time. I don't see how my opponent can break through um, Umbreon very well. Although I have to be careful because Umbreon could be used for setup fodder for the Gothitelle. Um, Chandelure has an incredible time. He also didn't bring Seismitoad, which means I can Volt Switch freely with Raichu. So Raichu is my lead. Um, you can kind of see a brief overview of my team here. Mr. Fish is going to be interesting. Um, like, I have to be aware of the Haxorus. I think, yeah, that's that's the main thing I have to be aware of. I think that's his game plan. Maybe Gothitelle as well. Otherwise, not a lot poses an offensive threat. He could also have bought Gothitelle for Trick Room. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what what that would be, like what benefits Trick Room in this team, other than Ferrisseed. So that's probably not going to happen. It's going to be he's got Tailwind support. I'm adamant he's got Tailwind support. Um, I don't know if my opponent ran out of time while coming with the uh, setting up his lineup. I don't know. I didn't get a chance to choose music either. So, but we did get a good um, battle theme by the sounds of it. So good luck, have fun to my opponent. I'm feeling quietly confident based on my opponent's team, actually. Uh, he leads Ferris Seed. Okay, that's fine. I don't have hazard removal um, on this team. And obviously there is no hidden power. I am just going to Volt Switch. There's no point in me faking out. Um, I feel like my opponent is probably just going to click Stealth Rocks or Spikes. I didn't take a note of what my opponent's team was. That's really bad. Um... Let's get a little up. Actually, that didn't work, did it? I need paper or something. I've got nothing to write on, other than a letter, which I can't read. Um, so he had... Pharaoh, Seed, Axorus, uh, Sehab. I'm going straight into Chandler. Uh, they had wings apart. Yeah, there's the rocks. So I don't actually have any way to remove the rocks, which is annoying. Um, I have choice specs, though. Um, he doesn't want to stay in here. I don't think he has a switch in. He had wings apart, Hatcherous, Ferris Seed. I can just press Y, can't I? Or plus, actually. So he has got a normal type. Uh, I'm going to click Shadow Ball. I don't think he goes here this on a fire move. If he does, he's, he's a madman. Pelipper. Okay, that's fine. How much is this going to do? I haven't got any calcs open or anything. So he sets up the rain. If I can kill this thing in one hit, 
That's incredibly good for me. That does good damage. I feel like he's going to pull the switch into Heliolisk here. Um, what do I want to do? I don't think he's... If he's, he's defensive of some sort. So I'm going to go into Raichu. Which could be risky. Like, he doesn't have a switch into Spec Shadow Ball. Other than this, by the looks of it. I'm just being wary of the timer. Like, my opponent's taking a lot longer already. So... Uh, where's my cow? Chandler. I haven't employed any of my sets to be even think about that. Pelipper. Okay, so it's definitely defensive Pelipper. Because that would have one shot that thing if it was defensive. He draws. Does he go into Heliolisk? He does. Excellent. So I predicted that correctly. Um, he is going to be dry skin. I can't really touch this thing. But I'm going to fake out. If he wants to go into Ferrothorn, he goes into Ferrothorn. That's fine. That Ferrothorn's going to be a problem, though. Fake out gives me good uh, chip damage on this thing. Gives him some whimsy card. Okay, that's fine. Is he a check button? No, he's leftovers. So I am gonna Volt Switch because I wanna know if I'm fast in this thing or not. He might set up the tailwind. I'm not entirely sure though what he's gonna do. He leaps seeds. That's fine, I'm just getting out of here. Okay, good. I think Chandler could be quite free here. How much does it do to win this card with Shadow Ball? Max HP Whimsicott takes 84 to 99%. Right, we'll get into that. My opponent hasn't got a Shadow Ball switch in. So this is definitely in range, unless it's got some Spideff investment. Um, is he going to go into his Helio Disc? In the rain. See, if I overheat... Flanker and might not kill. No, Flamethrower should kill this even in the rain. I'm gonna click Flamethrower. He protects. Okay. The rain stops, so actually, um, how much does Pelipper, I guess switches into, he hasn't got a switch into this at all, I do not think. I'm just going to click it, like, he can go into Pelipper if he wants, but I think two flamethrowers will probably kill Pelipper. I don't think my opponent would have expected me to bring Chandelure, but with Ferrisseed and Whimsicott, like, I had to bring it. Because I don't, I can't reliably kill Ferrisseed. So he sacks off the Ferrisseed. That's interesting. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Well, Chandler kills the Pharisee, which is good. So Namor has it. Um, I forgot what my team is. I'll close showdown too. Yeah, there's the matches. I'm going straight into my Umbreon, and I'm clicking foul play. Because he's either going to Swords Dance or DD, I think. And if he doesn't, then I question it. Um, Pelipa, he has, uh, what's it called? What's that thing called? Gopitel. He outrages, okay. Okay, that's choice band outrage. <laughs> that did so much damage to me. I'm going to, um... I don't have protect! I don't have protect on it, okay. Um... I don't have a fairy, which is annoying. So I'm gonna foul play. That was bad, I expected Swords Dance. But actually now, now that's happened, I feel like I can go into Mr. Fish. Intimidate this thing. I don't actually know if I'll live now I think about it. He has to stay in. Kills me. That was such a bad play. I should have gone into um I should have used the intimidate and switched into what's it called? My thingy magic. <sighs> okay, that was bad. I should have gone into this. Oh and I have rapid spin too. Okay. I don't think he can really touch this. I just need to get some chip. What's he got? Pelipper wins to hatch this fairy. No, Pharisee died. What's his last mon? I can't think what his last mon is. Even though I can keep looking at the screen. Okay. That's bad. Choice Man Haxorus is actually terrifying. He goes Gothitelle. Okay. Please rest. I actually prepped for this. So we did get the speed boost, which I don't actually know if that matters or not. I am going to poison powder. Uh, someone's at my door, but I can't go and get that right now. <laughs> I have got poison powder on this thing, um, which is actually quite nice because you don't get toxic much. I also have pollen puff. But this is the only thing I have back to switch now, so... I wish I... I really wish I had... Um, play Rough on Raichu still. I think Fake Out Play Rough might have actually been... Good enough. Some tricks, okay. I lose. <laughs> I just lose now, because I'm pretty sure he just can't mind. At least the poison about to hit. That's like, if he's rest, I just lose. So I'm not sure he scarfed into poison powder. Yeah, I, I can't switch. Actually, someone's at my door. Hang on.
I'm running out of time because I had to go get my parcel. Um, I'll have to poison powder, there's nothing else I can do. Is he calm mind? I'm psychic, okay. Okay, so it's about making this a respectable game now, pretty much. I should try switching, really. Like, just in case. Yeah, okay, I can't. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll just sit here and click Poison Powder over and over again. But it's good chip, it's good chip damage. I think Fake Out and then, like, Alt Switch will probably be enough with Raichu. I don't see how there's any way of winning against that Haxorus. Like, I didn't bring Galarian using. But that thing is Mold Breaker, so like it can ignore my Earthquakes and stuff. Um, if I go into Chandelure, it's just going to... He's just going to sack something off. Actually, I don't know if this is the right play, because he can get a free switch into Venus. But let's flame for her. Let's hope my opponent chokes somehow and goes into Haxorus. I get the burn. <laughs> That'd be the best way to win it. Okay, so he sacks it off. That's, that's the right play. Chandelure though, getting two kills. Uh, over the Pharisee and the Goth. Yeah, now now Haxorus comes in and does, does ow things. Um I have to well, I have to play for I I have to sack Lumiere off. I have to go into right you after this and click fake out. I'm pretty sure if I fake out, um, he then gets confused. But Heliolisk wins anyway, actually, even if I do kill this. Uses it to be honest. Yeah, it does. Okay, right. That's something. Let's go for Thunderbolt. I can't Aqua Jet. Why can't. Um, why can't. Okay, okay, right, okay. This is fine. You know what? That does some good damage. Except I lose the 1v1 because he has Hyper Voice. <laughs> yeah, he has Hyper Voice. Oh, we just die! <laughs> okay, that's a good game. That's a good game. Um, that was not well played at all. I was life forward too. Okay, well, that's GG. Um, I honestly, I think the Umbreon play is what kind of lost it. If, if I didn't. If I had sacked something off, okay, I just predicted Swords Dance. That's what it was. That's all it was. Because if he had DD'd or SD'd and I bought an Umbreon safely, I would have been in a, a very good position. Because I could have just foul played for free. And he got switches. That's game. I can't live that. Good games. I, to be fair, like. It was a lot closer than the 4 suggests in terms of, like, damage and whatnot. Um, it just wasn't the prettiest, uh, the prettiest <laughs> demolishing of my life. But yeah, good game um, to Puckbud. Uh, hopefully you do well for the rest of the season. I mean, I think this guy's going to go far because his team is ridiculous. Like, I prepped so hard for Barascuda. Uh, and I prepped so hard for Ludicolo, and I prepped so hard for Goth, I didn't prep hard enough for Haxorus, which 
turned out to be the one thing he built his team around, so it, it is how it is. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Um, check out my opponent below if he has if he is uploading all the stuff. I don't know if he is, so I'll double check after this. Um, yeah, I forgot what I've said already, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.